Welcome back to my channel, where we start a lot of projects and we never actually finish any, except today. Maybe we do. I don't know. This is the Dyson Cyclone mod for my Roomba S9. Uh, it looks a little dirty, and it is a little dirty. I ran some tests. <sighs> Look, this is the first time I'm having to open this here, and I ran it uh, without this. Oh my. Oh my. I ran it without this tape to seal the edges. Uh, you can see that here. Dyson, help. Uh, yeah, we might have had a little bit of a problem. Uh, the wife suggested, hey, you know, why don't you try and seal it up better? Put some tape on it. I was like, okay, so that's not a bad idea. So rather than re-engineer this thing, right, let's at least just test it with the tape. And so uh, here it is with the tape. And we're now opening it up for the first time. The Roomba didn't choke on the fact that <laughs> there's all this new air resistance. I thought I was gonna need that. All right, so to take a, oh no. <laughs> okay, well that's not good. All right, so this is the air intake uh, as it uh, flows into the manifolds and you can see that all right, this is, we did a previous video on this metal mesh. That's this piece right here. And you can see that that is caked. Let's take that off. All right, what do we got? Let's take off the egress. Oh my goodness, this thing is, let's take that off. Oh, that's surprisingly clean. Well, I guess it's supposed to be. There's not supposed to be any dirt in there. There is. Uh, we just, I just kind of took dirt from outside and dirt from the Roomba and the Dyson. Ugh. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's take out the cyclones now. Oh, there it goes. This is the lid. There's the cyclones. There's that bar. And <sighs> as you can see, we have a lot of debris in the bottom there. But and we do have fine particulate inside of that little um, what looks like a bathtub. That's where the fine particulate's supposed to be captured. And it looks like it did its job. There's no large particulate there, but there would be no possible way for it to get there. I don't know. It could use a lot of fine tuning. A lot of fine tuning. Did it work? Perhaps. Perhaps it did. Could it be engineered significantly better? Absolutely, it could. Ah, yes, this could be engineered a thousand times better. For a first pass, not knowing anything of the subject, I think it worked rather well. This is what the assembly looks like. And then you got this piece. Oops. There you go. And then to put it all together without the hull, This is what it looks like here. In practice, that thing was a lot more powerful than I thought. Keep an eye out below. I'll share the STL files. Uh, I'll have a blog post. It may not be out when this video comes out, but if you're subscribed, you'll see maybe a short I'll release saying, hey, the uh, STLs are available. Thanks for watching.